The Boeing MQ-25 Stingray is an aerial refueling drone that resulted from the carrier-based aerial refueling system, BARS, program, which grew out of the earlier unmanned carrier-launched airborne surveillance and strike, UCLAS, program. The MQ-25 first flew on September 19, 2019. Design Boeing's MQ-25 design is powered by one Rolls-Royce AE3007N turbofan engine delivering 10,000 lbf 44 knots, of thrust, this is a variant of the engine used to power the Navy's MQ-4C Triton. The aircraft is less stealthy than flying wing UAVs. It does feature a stealthy fuselage shaping, flush inlet to shield engine blades from radar, and a V-tail. The United States Navy began its efforts to develop an aircraft carrier-based UAV in 2006. The original UCLAS concept was for a stealthy strike platform capable of penetrating enemy air defenses. In 2012, lethality and strike requirements were diluted in order to create an intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR, oriented aircraft that could be developed quickly to conduct low-intensity counter-terrorism missions. On February 1, 2016, after delays over whether the UCLAS would specialize in strike or ISR roles, it was reported that significant priority would be given to producing a Super Hornet-sized carrier-based aerial refueling tanker as the carrier-based aerial refueling system bars, with a little ISR and some capabilities for communications relay, and strike capabilities put off to a future variant. The Pentagon apparently made this program change to address the Navy's expected fighter shortfall by directing funds to buy more F divided by a minus 18E divided by F Super Hornets and accelerate purchases of the F-35C. Having the Kvars as the first carrier-based UAV provides a less complex bridge to the future F-AXX, should it be an unmanned strike platform. It also addresses the carrier's need for an organic refueling aircraft, proposed for the UCLAS since 2014, freeing up the 20-30% to 30 of Super Hornets performing the mission in a more capable and cost-effective manner than modifying the F-35, V-22 Osprey, and E-2D Hawkeye, or returning the retired S-3 Viking to service. Four development contracts were issued in 2016, with a formal RFP expected in 2017, with operational status in the early to mid-2020s. In July 2016, it was officially named MQ-25 a Stingray after being named Rack 25 a previously. Rear Admiral Michael Manizer has suggested that three of these UCAVs could fly with an F-35 for refueling and sensor operation. Vice Admiral Mike Shoemaker said that the MQ-25 can extend the Super Hornet's 450 NMI, 520 miles, 830 kilometers, unrefueled combat radius to beyond 700 NMI, 810 miles, 1,300 kilometers. The Navy's goal for the aircraft is to be able to deliver 15,000 pounds, 6,800 kilograms of fuel total to four to six airplanes at a range of 500 NMI, 580 miles, 930 kilometers. The Navy released the final MQ-25 Stingray request for proposals in October 2017 to Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Northrop Grumman, and General Atomics. Flight Testing In late April 2019, the first MQ-25 test aircraft, T-1 or Tail-1, was taken by road from Boeing's technical plant at St. Louis's Lambert International Airport across the Mississippi River to Mid-America St. Louis Airport, which is conjoined to Scott Air Force Base. Following taxi tests, the Federal Aviation Administration certified the aircraft and granted airspace for flight testing. The MQ-25 took its first flight on September 19, 2019. In December 2020, Boeing released video showing the first flight of the MQ-25 with a Cobham aerial refueling store externally mounted. On June 4, 2021, the first refueling test was conducted with the MQ-25 providing fuel to an F divided by a minus 18 F Super Hornet. The MQ-25 originated at Mid-America Airport in Muscoota, Illinois, with support by Air Test and Evaluation Squadron VX-23. The mission lasted about 4.5 hours with the two aircraft performing numerous dry or wet connects for more than 10 minutes and 325 pounds of fuel transferred in total. Further refueling tests were performed with E-2 and F-35C. Operational History 
As of 2020 the United States Navy planned to establish unmanned carrier launched multi-role squadron 10, the UQ-10, in October 2021 with four aircraft. The new unit was to be based at Naval Base Ventura County, which includes Naval Air Station Point Magoo. General Characteristics Length, 51.0 feet, 15.5 meters. Wingspan, 75.0 feet, 22.9 meters, wings extended, 31.3 feet, 9.54 meters, folded. Height, 9.8 feet, 3.0 meters, wings extended, 15.7 feet, 4.79 meters, folded. Power plant, 1 times Rolls-Royce A3007N, 31, turbofan, greater than 10,000 lbf, greater than 44 knots, thrust. Performance. Range, 500 nmi, 580 miles, 930 kilometers, when delivering greater than or equal to 16,000 pounds, 7,250 kilograms of fuel. Armament. Hardpoints, 2 times underwing stations. Others. Cabo Mario Refueling Store, ARS.